Hey guys, this is why Warden doesn't let me uh, go grocery shopping. That's too much money in meat. I'm an impulse buyer. Lamar's Iowa right now my wife has a couple friends that live up here <laughs> I'm just kidding we have a couple friends that live up here we go on all of our motorcycle trips with them so I'm sure you guys will be seeing them plenty this summer he's a dork she's cool but he's a dork I don't have to worry about them watching these or really hearing this because they don't watch these so I'm okay Sioux City, Iowa is pretty close to Lamar's here, about 23 miles, it's about 60 miles from Mapleton, but somehow we still found our motorcycle friends. You're going to kick, you will get a kick out of them. I call one of them interrogator. I call one of them banker. He's not a banker, don't worry. But when I first met him, he looked like a banker on a motorcycle. beautiful but it's it's gloomy and wet yeah, no way to beat around the bush there it is gloomy and wet and just a little bit and muddy Whew, look at all that mud well turns out we're just gonna go home I got dedicated work for leaving here in a, by about three days so we're gonna go home for three days chill out and uh, spend time with the family gonna pull into the yard here they're gonna wash my trailer out and uh, probably just go home but I'm thinking before I go home our small town stores are starting to dwindle down a little bit so I'm gonna stop by I think it, I'm probably gonna go to fairway because I need I need my cereal and one part of having cereal is eating milk. If I don't have milk, I can't have my cereal. I gotta have my cereal, guys. And if you are a subscriber or watch any of my previous vlogs, you know what kind of cereal I crave. And you also know they only sell it up here in Sioux City at that fairway. So yes. I have to buy my cereal 45 miles away from my house.
the dreaded grocery store. I don't want to go in, but in order to get my cereal and my milk, I must conquer this mission. We can do it. We can do it together. Well, that came out wrong. I didn't mean it like that. We're gonna wander in here. See what we find. I think we're good. I do. It's America, right? I'll put you down for a little bit. I don't really wanna walk around a grocery store with my phone sticking into my face. I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, this is why Warden doesn't let me uh, go grocery shopping. That's too much money and meat. I'm an impulse buyer. Somehow, or another, I got sidetracked at the meat counter. Meat's really expensive. Fairway's got some great meat. All in all, I spent too much money. I got too much stuff. Went in hungry. You know how it is when you go in hungry in your grocery shop and you just don't want to do it. But, uh, here. 90% of that is meat. And, of course, cereal. I had to get my cereal. I am disappointed. Warden, all she wanted... All she wanted was a box of Crispix cereal and some bread. Crispix Crispix must be a hot item right now because it's not there. I told her I'd run over to another store to check, and I think she just sent me a text and said, "Don't do it. Just come home." Um, but yeah, we have a lot of steak. A lot of ribeye, a lot of hamburger, a lot of pork chops, a couple roasts, some ribs. They had some good deals going for hamburger. Probably one of those big, big butt rolls, <laughs> big butt rolls, big rolls. And it worked out okay. Now the goal is to get out of here because I done did goofed up. And what time is it? It shouldn't be this busy right now. It's almost like people think something's happening. You know, we're gonna get out of this parking lot one way or another, boys and girls. Oh yeah, I'm that good. I'm not gonna show you how good I am. There was not one curb incident in that parking lot. And I am that good. Now if I showed you, you'd probably go, oh, anybody can do that. But since I'm not showing you and all you see is my bald head, guess what? You just have to assume that I'm that good. <laughs> upbeat and positive my folks upbeat and positive that's where you got to be right now that's just that's just it snowman because he was on the phone and wouldn't talk to me he was like all last night to like 12 and then all that's this morning not, that's so not true well i don't know i don't know i want to sleep okay so not true. and then look what he did to my nostril it's all bruised yeah because i had my she, her nose was in my door he man. pinched I he shut, pinched no. my nose in the door and now it looks like i got a little no, he, spot her on nose my was in my door and I didn't know it. Oh, so you got shut, a black so I, pushed, so I pushed my door shut and I heard her nose. Right Not there. my Can fault. I get it? She's Can I on. pluck it, please? Yeah. It's like... It's coming. It's almost there. Oh my god, ow! Hold on. This is gonna bug me if I get Can you guys see the difference? I no longer have a black eye brow sticking from my forehead nice 
All right, guys, like I told you before, we were talking about uh, my fifth wheel and it being adjustable and sliding and being able to move the weight around. While the trailer's off of it, I just want to show you the fifth wheel real quick. It's dirty, needs a lot of grease, so don't let me know that. But this is the fifth wheel to our trailers, to our trucks. Right here, the trailer has a kingpin on it and it backs into that. That right there has claws inside of it. That claw wraps around the kingpin and locks the trailer in. The only way you're going to get that trailer off of this fifth wheel without flipping the truck or ripping the whole fifth wheel off the truck is by this handle. This handle releases that claw and then next thing you know, trailer's unhooked. You've seen me do it in previous videos. The fifth wheel is an adjustable setup. This right here helps that fifth wheel move forwards and backwards. Just like I said yesterday, it's all a weight balancing game. See all that mud on the back of that sleeper? We got to get those fenders on. Got to get those fenders on. But we have steps we have to go through before we get those fenders on. You know, like I said, the gentleman who owned this truck before me was obsessed with welders. I mean, what would possess a man to completely weld a fender bracket on? I mean, we're not talking spot welds. We're talking... That is a solid weld. But then you see the frame here. We got to sand the frame down. We got to make the frame look pretty. Get that off. Then we're ready for fenders and we can get rid of all that mud. But for right now, it's still technically winter. We're worried about it when it warms up. I'm going to go help or Orden sort some meat because I bought a lot of meat in bulk apparently. She said six chicken thighs she forgot to mention that it needed to be separated chicken thighs so technically we have 12. she said six pork chops and well i may have bought a little bit too many pork chops come on boys let's go i wonder where the brown dog's at oh here he comes All right, well, like I was saying, I goofed up and I ended up buying a lot of too meat, too much meat. If you can't tell, everybody in this house is going crazy. They've been kind of cramped up in this house for a few days. They have a few more weeks. It's gonna get up Dad? in the Schmidt house. Hey, Dad, mm. did you know they gave us homework? School's torturing us even out of school. I hate them. Go down in there. Hi, Izzy. Hi, 